Hamish McArthur. I'm a 17 year old climber from York. I'm part of Team Psyche and today we're at a Psyche session in Rockover. I mostly focus on lead and boulder uh, because that's the format for the 2024 Olympics, uh, a combined discipline, so I'm aiming for that. Yeah, I first joined the Psyche team about a year ago earlier this season, of 2019, and it's been great. I've had uh, chalk in abundance. I've just, yeah, I've been going through so much. It's been such a nice atmosphere within the whole team as well. Throughout the season, I want to I wanna be doing World Cups and winning in lead and boulder, of course. And the only way to achieve that is through grinding, really training every day. I mean, obviously taking rest, but it's a lot of commitment and sacrifice, which is very important. My name's Joe, and this season I was focusing on a font trip in March and the British Bouldering Championships into this summer. Coming into this season, I've been feeling in reasonable form, and the problem I'm probably most proud of is La Paramount, which is 8A in Fontainebleau. So this problem for me was really tough. You have to throw some toe works around in a rep, and I ended up getting super, super spanned out on, uh, on these like small holds, and uh, yeah, it felt pretty morpho, so right at the top of my limit, my span. So future goals for me at the minute is I'm trying to climb 8B by the end of the year. Um, I'll be training really hard in, into November, and then hopefully when the temperatures get better, I'll be able to get out on the grip and get some projects done. So the support from Psyche this year has been great. Um, they've supported us throughout a number of different trips, and um, the regular ongoing support with boots, chalk, and all the other equipment they give us um, really gives us a helping hand in our training and gives us the edge to do our best. Uh, I'm Rachel Carr, and I've been focusing on my Rockland's trip that I'll be going on in a couple of weeks, and trying to do another 80 or an 80 plus when I get there. Um, back in April, I managed to do my first 80, and it was in Fontainebleau, and it was in Cuisinier Carnage, a problem called God Save My Finger, so I was pretty chuffed with that. I, I want to get more consistent at 80s in the future. I want to try and be able to do them all the time, and there's a specific one in Rocklands that I want to do called Pendragon. Uh, it's like the grade, isn't it? It's the big one, and everyone wants to do 80. I've done loads of 7Cs, and 70 pluses just feel like a in between grade. I mean, I'd obviously like to do 80 plus or 8B, but right now 80 is the thing that I think I can do. Uh, well, Psyche's given me lots of funding, which has been really helpful because it means I don't have to work as often and I can actually afford to go away to places like South Africa for a month. Um, and oh, like the shoes, the shock, the gear, it's amazing because otherwise I'd have to spend my money on that and then I wouldn't afford the time to go climbing as much, which is obviously very beneficial. Uh, my name is Joe Wormsley, I am part of the GB climbing team and the Psyche team. Uh, I most focus on lead climbing, just because it's my preferred discipline, but this year I've been doing bouldering and lead comps, I've been breaching into bouldering training a bit more as well. Uh, just because I've chose to do a bit more of the bouldering comps and the lead comps this year, being in the GB team, because I've chose to do some bouldering Europeans and lead Europeans to try and like, get the most of the experience. Uh, I joined the Psyche team at the beginning of this year, uh, it's going really well, I really genuinely love their products and yeah, couldn't be happier. Uh, so my climbing goals at the moment are to make consistent uh, junior international finals um, and then more long term, I want to kind of push my sport climbing grades a bit more outdoors, like get into 8C, 8C plus, uh, get a few more ticks in that grade range um, and then after that kind of breach into the senior categories. Hi, um, I'm Hannah Smith. I'm part of the Psyche team and today we're at Rockover in the Hub. So um, this year I was part of the GB senior team and junior team and I've mainly been focusing on bouldering really. Um, so in the past year I've done a lot of national comps, I'm British league climbing champion, junior British bouldering champion, fourth in the British senior bouldering championships and I've done a few internationals this year as well. Um, I was 14th in bouldering AIC in Portugal and 18th in another one in Bulgaria, so pretty happy. So I fit, I've got one more year of school, so I'm hoping to finish up school, take a gap year and just really focus on climbing for a year, sort of see where it takes me. I've always been trying to sort of balance the two, so um, it'll be nice to see how far I can go with just having to focus on the one thing at a time. So yeah, hoping to do a few more comps, maybe just train really hard, see how strong I can get, I guess. 
So it's been really good obviously having the support from the whole team, like they're really supportive, they always ask about how my comps are going and stuff and it's just really nice to have a team behind you as well as obviously the gear is like really really cool as well. Um, I go through a lot of chalk so um, yeah training six times a week with about four hours a day so yeah a lot of chalk goes through so it's nice to have that I guess. I'm Jen, I've mainly been doing like the Baldwin World Cups this year, um, sort of aimed to get into a semi-final. I didn't, but <laughs> there's a couple more chances. So they've got a few more comps this year, like European champs um, in Poland for Baldwin. So I'd really like to make a semi-final there because I was close at a few World Cups. I think it's achievable, so that's like my next big thing. And then I guess next year I'll do like the full Boulder World Cup season and then like to get a bit more lead in as well. Um, sort of chose to focus on Boulder this year, but yeah, I'd like I'd like to do both in the future. Um, so Psyche have supported me a lot like this year and stuff. They've helped me get to World Cups and that's really useful for my experience. And, and then I'm in days like this where you can climb with loads of different people is always good. Um, and then just to like feel supported, have someone believe in you is always nice. So I'm Tom, um, I'm not part of any team, I suppose. Uh, I basically work for two non-profits, one of which raises money to support elite athletes in the UK. Um, and the other one uh, actually supports people with disabilities, with, who don't have access to climbing walls, adventurous activities. Came on board with Psyche earlier this year. Um, I basically, got myself into a position where I was volunteering with the BMC as the British senior team manager um, and felt that through commitments I needed to do from there, making my life a little bit cheaper outside of that would be a really good idea. So by forging some connections and essentially not having to pay for things like chalk, um, actually could make me able to focus that fund on going to team training events, putting my time and effort into that, rather than having to work harder to pay for my climbing. I'm an ambassador, I'm not an elite athlete, I'm like not a super strong climber, I'm say, I call myself Mr. Average, like I'm the most average man in Britain kind of thing. I'm, you know, I'm average height, I'm average span, average ability, um, but through that, I think I'm able to give a bit of a different perspective on a lot of the stuff they do. And so, yeah, th through that connection and that feedback and constant to and fro, I think I've created quite a nice relationship with them to then work from.